Hey everybody, Robert here with BRPAutodesigns.com. Today I'm going to go ahead and make a real quick video on how to tell when you remove your speaker, your factory speaker, which wires are the positive and negative if you don't have like a multimeter or not sure. And I'm going to show you the, the quickest, easiest way. And the reason why I'm doing this is because a lot of you guys will call me and ask me, you know, you're not sure and which one is it, how do I tell? So I'm going to make a real quick video, real simple to show you guys how to do this. Now, one thing is I've already removed this speaker. This is, this is off of a uh, Jeep Wrangler uh, JK. We've removed the soundbar speaker. And as you can see, I just spliced it here so you could see. I cut those there. I cut the ends off because we're going we're gonna to need this. And we're going to be replacing it with this nice Rockford Fosgate speaker. As you can see, way different, really nice. And on anything that's aftermarket, it's going to be real simple. You're going to be able to tell which one's negative and positive. The negative is always a smaller uh, connection here the, the the I'm sorry the negative is always a smaller one the positive is always a little bit thicker it's real easy to tell sometimes they'll also have it on the sides where it says positive or negative so we have no problem here it's always the factory ones that we're removing now as you can see there's a white wire here and a black wire and automatically in some cases this will be the positive and this will be the negative but that's not always the case what we're gonna do is I actually took a longer wire as you can see one red and, and a positive and a negative just to make it easier for me and i'm gonna connect it assuming that this black one is the uh negative is what we're thinking and this is the positive so we're gonna wire it up here just to give you an idea now we're gonna head over to the jeep and i'm gonna show you guys the next step to figuring out which one's the correct one Okay, so now we're at the Jeep and we've got this wired up, like I said, positive to positive, negative to neg negative, at least that's how we think it goes. Now we're going to take this and we know that this side, the right side of the battery is negative and the, the left side is positive. So we're going to just slightly tap on top and now I'm going to tap here and we'll get movement. Now if you look, I want you to look at the actual speaker and you can see the speaker is moving inward or up. You can see it going, like getting sucked in, right? So right there off the bat, I can tell that we have this wired up incorrectly. So like I explained to you guys, it's real easy to get fooled. You think that the black is a negative and the, the red is a positive. The speaker should be moving downward or up. In, in this case, I'm going to switch this over and show you guys what I mean. So you can see we're going to take this one and we're going to put the black to the white. and the red to the black which would automatically tell us it's backwards but no you'll see what i mean so now this should move down it should suck it the opposite direction so we're going to take the red and we're going to do the same thing and you see how it pushes the, pushes downward that is the correct way that is a positive and negative. So that, that's how we know that this is positive and this is negative. And you can do that with a regular 9-volt uh, nine, nine battery. Any battery, actually, that uh, like a flashlight battery, any of those will work. You just connect the positive to the negative, And if it sucks it in or backwards, then you know you got to switch the wires. So hopefully this video helps. Um, and I did this, like I said, because I get a lot of you guys that will ask me, I'm confused, I cut the wires and I'm not sure which one's positive and negative. This is the easiest way. So hopefully this video helps you guys out. Um, I know that uh, I learned it. This was an old trick that I learned years ago and I've used it ever since when it's, it's real simple and easy. I don't have to have a multimeter or anything else. Anyways, I uh, hope this helps you guys out. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you guys like it or, you know, leave me a comment. All right, God bless you all. See you later. Bye.